<clears throat> okay, so we're just gonna go for it. You know, time is of the essence. It's very late. The only time I get to paint. So I'm just gonna play. A -A. I have a ton of colors to work with. Uh, probably shouldn't use them all, but you know me, I probably will. Anyways, we've got Rave from this little piggy pigments. We've got Sapphire. We've got Deja Vu. We've got Show Pony. We've got Comet. We've got Sequin or Shimmer. This is new. I've not tried this one yet, so I'm excited. This is an interference. It's like a gold green interference. Um, Techno. Opaque neon yellow. Yeah, Deja Vu. Opaque neon purple. Sequins. Uh, shimmery dark blue. Uh, Rave. Opaque neon blue. Boogie. Opaque neon orange. Hustle. Opaque neon magenta. Twinkle. Interference. Blue to violet. Color shift. Glisten. I don't know how this one. I don't know if I'm using it, but uh, this is a green interference. It's beautiful. Mm. Sequence, my favorite interference, the violet interference. And Inferno, an opaque neon red. I'm not using this today. It's the only color I don't have mixed. Um, marmalade. And royal purple. Here's my other liquid text. These are my solids. Um, we've got quincardio magenta, deep magenta basically. Um, an ultramarine blue. I have some Amsterdam light gold, Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold, a green flash color shift by Fulgard, and I think that is it. Oh, yeah, and this guy, Artist Law, it's pre mixed, yes, I know, but it still makes it with my, my ingredients that I do. One's artist or American or uh, Amsterdam oxide black and obsidian by Deco Art Extreme Sheen Floatrol and a little bit of blended premium base three. Um, sucks that I can't talk. That's my base. Crazy, right? Wait, this just my blended premium base one with American Ultra. Let's do this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I am starting with um shimmer interference on there and then moving on to the deco art gold and my whole idea was like kind of create like a spiral from doing little you know lines like almost like little etch marks like this kind of thing making a spiral out of these little etch marks i went a little overboard a little crazy but it's fun it's fun it's fun and this the black 
uh, base that I'm using is an experiment, so I'm still trying to perfect it. I feel like I need to get a little bit more of a separation coat in there so it doesn't eat so much of the color, but it it, it didn't. It, it, you'll see, you'll see. It's, it's alright, but um, it's actually pretty cool. It turned out really cool. I just love the brightness. I love bright. The brighter the better, but the black is also cool too. It's cool. What I love about using a black base is that when you swipe with white and then especially like the neons, it makes the lightning, the lightning cells, which are just like so bomb.com. But anyways, now I'm just going to go really, 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 really fast and chipmunk mode. And you can see me lay down all these colors, which takes a very long time. And then it'll be swipe time, which takes an even longer time. And I like to sit and pause for a lot of times after I swipe just so I can stare at it. Okay, and now it's time to swipe. And the, what I like to swipe with is always the brand Amsterdam, Oxide Black, and then you'll see me use a titanium white, and I even throw in some turquoise green in there as well, um, layering it on my palette knife and just swipe on over those colors. Okay, so now here I am tilting some of the paint off so I can get, you know, get on the canvas the way I want to get it because otherwise sometimes I can just like go right off the canvas, this part that you're like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Um, yeah, so you just want to tilt and spin and you actually tilt really, really slow and you tilt and you spin really, really slow, but it's boring to watch so I speed that puppy on up. We're done. And now for the reveal. This is what it looked like when it was wet. So yeah, it looks super duper cool, doesn't it? Um, the only thing is, is it, it dry? It the black kind of overtook some of the colors. Not gonna lie, kind of kind of darkened him. So I'm still perfecting that black base, but man, is it cool! It's so cool. This one's gonna look really cool, resined. And here it is dry. Okay, here it is dry. Dun, dun, dun. It's crazy looking. Dun, dun, dun. It's just, it's so like, it's dark, insidious. I don't even know what I'll call you. I'm gonna have fun trying to name you because you're wild. Like I said, I'm still trying to perfect that black base, but like, I like, I like it. Let's see it in the black light. Okay, here's the black light. I don't really know how to film it to show it off as good as it really actually looks. Because it doesn't, like, the black light is like, 
overpowering it. But it looks dope in the black light to your eyes. Not on camera. I'll figure it out. Don't worry, because all of mine glow. All right. Okay, next video is the 14 by 14 I did using the same base, colors, and cell activator.